Welcome, Moon and Star. Today I'm going to help you choose the right Daedric artifact. There is a lot of useless items that Daedric princes will offer you. Many of them are crap and they just belong in a trash can. Alright, let's start. Azura Star. Very good. You can trap souls in it. But you need to have a little chat with Azura. And the idea of speaking to Azura makes me sick. Anyway, it is not that useful. But I'm pretty sure it could be a nice gift for Mother's Day. I will put it in F tier. F for fraud. Dawnbreaker. Very nice looking sword. Very useful against undead. But why would you hang out with undead at the first place? Anyway, I don't want to know. The fact that you have to do this Meridia quest in order to obtain it is enough for me to put it in F tier. The Ebony Blade. Let's be honest, it's not a bad weapon. But Mephala knows you are a weeb. That's why you get rewarded with this. Just put it somewhere in your bedroom between your Funko Pop collection and your waifu pillow. Fraud tier. The ebony male is not even good looking. Imagine licking Boethia's boots just to get rewarded with a dark generic armor. Come on. I'm pretty sure you can find a better outfit. Even orc armors look better than this. A fraud again. The Mace of Molag Bal. It has nice stats, but how long are you willing to play with this toy? Molag Bal is such a scammer. F tier. The Mask of Clavicus Vile. Well, it's kind of cool, and if you picked up Argonian, Khajiit, or Orc, at least you will have a chance to get some girls. But that's what a real alpha male's mask looks like. C tier. Mehrun's Razor can instant kill. Wow, impressive. Bro, fighting with this weapon is like ordering food, but there is 10% chance your plate won't be empty. Fraud. Ogma Infinium. Well, that's a useful artifact. At least you will get some knowledge, but it would be a shame if you picked Orc. Because orcs can't read. Anyway, kids, read books, drink water. B tier. The Ring of Namira. Well, Namira is a very degenerate Daedric prince. Don't do weird stuff with corpses. At least the ring is not too bad, so I won't judge you. I think it can be a nice D tier. Sanguine Rose. Bro, you've never been scammed before? Well, congrats, it's your first time. Sanguine Rose is the biggest scam ever. Imagine risking your life for this. The Savior's Hide. Well, her scene is cool, but I'm not willing to wear this outfit. What is the purpose? Begging for money? Come on, have a little bit of self-esteem and don't wear this muddy peasant thing. But you can choose the ring of her scene? You could transform into a werewolf. What's the difference? Well, you will smell as bad as if you were wearing the Savior's Hide, maybe even worse. But at least if you are into weird, furry stuff, you could get laid with Ayla the Huntress. The skeleton key. Very good. You can open whatever you want, but that's a Khajiit stuff. Don't be a Khajiit. Skull of corruption. Can you just let people sleep? I like when people are having very deep dreams. Leave my sleepers and dreamers alone. Spellbreaker. More like balls breaker. Just put it somewhere in your house, hanging on a wall if you find it pretty. Volendrung. Looks really crappy. Very nice if you play a big Nord who likes to swing two-handed weapons using your last three brain cells left. But bro, get yourself a personality. Last we have the Wabajack. Well, that's the only funny artifact you could have. Thanks to Shea Gorath for not being a scammer. With Wabajack you can turn Nazim into a chicken. You can turn Fargoth into an Atronach. You can turn your local Khajiit skooma dealer into a Dren plantation slave. What a masterpiece. All right. I hope that Daddy Dagoth gave you precious advices. You can choose whatever artifact you like. I won't judge you, but don't be a fool.